They're often Australia's unsung heroes, but the country's reservists have today been celebrated at the annual Reserves Forces Day parade. With numbers on the rise, more and more people born overseas are also signing up. Celebrating the past and the present, around 13,500 reservists are currently serving their country. Today is an acknowledgement of those who go to work each day in all employments in Australia and then don a uniform and build their military skills. People like Paul Heggenbotham and Bob Gay, who between them saw almost 40 years service. It teaches a, a lot about life. Cooperation. Yeah, uh, teamwork. Skills that a new generation are hoping to learn. 14-year-old cadet Daniel Pragnell is excited by the reserves. I like the discipline behind it and I like the idea of like teamwork. I first got in it to uh, get out of the pub basically to um, I needed a bit of direction at the time. The reserves are also attracting more Australians born overseas. About 28% of our people born overseas we see them coming into our reserve. Currently there are around 100 reserves serving representing Australia in the Middle East supporting military operations and today's service is in part about recognising the vital role they play. It was also about remembering those who served in the Middle East 100 years ago. It's fantastic service. Tributes were accepted by the relatives of those who fought in the desert campaigns of 1917. It would be as if he's up there watching down or saying, that's pretty bloody special. <laughs> <laughs> I love that photograph. Daughters of Cecil Annis Brown, a light horseman, were honoured by the occasion. He would have been very proud today. I'm sure he was up there shining on us with this lovely sunny day. A day for all reservists and their descendants to be proud of. Leave Casbin, ABC News, Sydney.